Welcome back to Talk to Doc. It's now time for our audience to ask questions here in the studio. So, shoot. Ready, doctor? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have first question here. Go ahead. Um, I would like to ask Doc if sleepwalking or sleep talking dangerous? Yes, mm -hmm. it's dangerous because if you sleep, more of sleepwalking, you can hurt yourself. You fall, you go out of your room or you step, step out of your window. Mm -hmm. That can be dangerous. Sleep talking, not so much. Unless um, you have secrets that you want. <laughs> <laughs> you want you have Unless there's a name. <laughs> and they're divulged. The oh, yeah, right? Or call another <laughs> name of a <laughs> Our okay. next question, we have All a right. question from, yes. Um, good evening, Doc. Yes, senior. Um, when should a person go to a um, sleep disorder specialist? The symptoms of having poor sleep, notably daytime sleep, is during the day. You're not functioning well mm -hmm. after you thought you slept for eight hours. And if you're irritable, those are the symptoms. Yeah. <laughs> From there, actually, I think it's a good idea to have your sleep check. Do you think, Doc, if a person think? grinds his teeth at night, is there something wrong with him? Actually, yes. Um, but the most, well, it's called sleep bruxism. System. The most effect that it can do for you is it can really grind your teeth to half. And when that happens, it, it's very painful. <laughs> it's a sign of stress or anxiety. It can be present at any age, but more for the younger uh, population. That also has to be checked. Next, uh, we have one more question over here. Yes. Good evening. What is narcolepsy? Narcolepsy is characterized by four. No? It's sleepiness wherever you are, eating, eating, talking, wherever you are, you, f you feel sleepy. sleepy. No? The second is sleep paralysis. So in order to have narcolepsy, you have to have four. No? So I mentioned sleepiness. When you talk about sleep paralysis, it's like when you're sleeping and you wake up, you can't move. Mm. So you, you can see your hands and your feet, but you can't move. Mm -hmm. And then you think you're having that thing called bangungot. It's uh. actually called sleep paralysis. That's the second. Third is cataplexy. Cataplexy, um, you're laughing or you're very sad. All of a sudden, you lose consciousness. <laughs> Whoa, that's the third. Really happens, that's huh? the third. Oh. Uh -huh. And the fourth is hypnagogic hallucination. When you think or you hear that somebody is harming you. So those are the four requirements to say that you have narcolepsy. Mm. But the most common symptom is you're sleepy everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like I'm talking to you now, I can fall asleep. <laughs> I'm eating, I can uh -oh. fall asleep. No? Yeah. So those Except are the if your symptoms. date is really boring, then that's Maybe. narcolepsy. <laughs> 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 diba? And then no, the other thing, the second yeah. thing that you mentioned, you know that feeling of parang pins and needles yes. when you're meeting? Iba naman yon. Iba naman, naman yon. Yon. That more is related to restless legs restless syndrome. Legs. Ah, okay. Another yon. sleep disorder. This is another sleep ah. disorder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Even right now, mm. it can happen, no? Because mm. we're not moving. Yeah. That is a, that's also characterized as sleep disorder, or le restless leg syndrome. syndrome. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, we have time for one more question. Hi, Doc. Good evening. Um, what are the disadvantages and advantages of taking sleeping pills um, for someone who can't sleep at night? If you take sleeping pills for a very short time, maybe it's okay. But the awareness or the knowledge of these side effects can include memory problems, uh, uh, loss of balance while walking, and ultimately you have to keep on getting higher and higher doses of these pills for them to work. It's called tolerance. Mm -hmm. So it's not a good thing to rely mostly on sleeping pills on the long term. Maybe for the short term it's okay, but finding out why you can't sleep is most important. And it can usually be addressed with more conservative measures, which is usually counseling. You get the same quality of sleep with sleeping pills and without? That's a very good question. Actually, no, mm -hmm. because sleeping pills, especially the stronger ones, rob you of a deep level of sleep, yeah. which is called rapid eye movement. Yes, which we, which, of sleep. Uh -huh. Yeah, which we need very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you, you, if you rely mostly on sleeping pills, you will not be getting the same quality, quality of sleep as you're getting with natural so sleep. So ultimately, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be too dependent on sleeping yes. pills. Pala. Yes. All yes. right. Okay. Isa pa? Yes, One I think more question from our audience. And dami eh. Yeah. Is snoring dangerous? Is there a connection be between snoring and uh, heart disease? Mm. Very good question. Thank you, sir. Actually, yes. The louder the snore, the greater the blockage of the air passage or the obstruction. When that mm -hmm. happens, you can have lesser oxygen, and that will ultimately lead 
to a problem with your heart or heart disease? So the answer is yes. yes. Oh. So besides your your wife getting mad at you, <laughs> there are many other yes, reasons yes, why you should yes. get checked. If you snore a lot, no? yes, oh, oh, because that's it could right. mean something else or lead to something more dangerous. Correct. Like you said. That's right. Wow. Thanks, Mike. You're so, welcome. any parting words? Maybe you can give, since there are many questions. Uh, last shot regarding maybe you can provide them some tips on how to get a uh, good night's sleep or sleep hygiene. The, the most important uh, thing here is awareness. Okay. No? It, that you know that if you're having what we mentioned as symptoms, um, you can see a, a doctor, tell your doctor your symptoms, but aside from what you mentioned, uh, OE, sleep exactly the same time at night, every mm -hmm. night, stay away from alcohol, Taking too much coffee is not also good. Taking too much liquids is not also good. Otherwise, you'll end up going to the toilet often. Mm -hmm. Exercising in the morning and not close to the to bedtime. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not being too full in the evening is very important. If that happens, then you have to rest before you go to bed. Okay. And ultimately, uh, what's important is keep yourself busy during the day. So that, so that if you're busy you during the day, you will have a stronger demand to go to sleep in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very important. So those are the things I'd like to give us a take-home message. Very practical. Dr. Sarte, thank you again for sharing your expertise with us. And thank you to our viewers and studio audience for making us part of your health regimen. Join us again next week as we take on another health issue. And do email us your queries at talktodoc at medicalcity.com.ph. I'm Dr. Oi Balburias. And I'm Chiki Roapuno. Remember, don't be afraid to ask because we can talk, talk to, to Doc. doc. has seen many different patients, but none exactly like you. You are unique. The more your doctor knows you, the better he can help. And the more you know about your condition, the better decisions you can make. So tell your story, ask questions, talk to doc. Your health depends on you and me. A message of concern from the medical city.